I'm Rabbi Joe Black. Stay tuned. Take with Rabbi Doug is next. We're going to see Rabbi Doug. We're going to see Rabbi Doug. We're going to see Rabbi Doug on your TV tonight. But Daddy, I want to watch Monday Night Football. Forget about Monday Night Football. There's no other thing we're going to watch on Monday but Rabbi Doug. Yeah, Rabbi Doug on TV tonight. We're going to see Rabbi Doug. Oh, everybody talk about that. Shalom and welcome to Taped with Rabbi Doug. We are here at the Greater Chicago Jewish Music Festival, the Greater Chicago Jewish Festival in Chicago, in Morton Grove, actually, in the uh, woods here, Chicago, Chicago land. land, absolutely. It is my great pleasure to welcome you to this year's festival and to open up this show with my good friend, dear old friend, Rabbi Joe Black. Pleasure. Real pleasure. Rabbi Joe, such a pleasure to have you on the show as you come to Chicago every year for this festival, growing up in Chicago, being a rabbi out of Chicago, but making sure to be here every time the festival takes place. Wouldn't miss it. Tell, tell me what Rabbi Joe is doing nowadays. Now, your congregation you have, of course. What are you doing musically nowadays? I know you have a new album coming out. I have two new albums coming two out. Two new albums yeah. coming out. Uh, I haven't recorded an album in 18 years, and I've had three months of sabbatical this year. So I recorded uh, about 26 songs, 13 of which are Jewish songs, and 13 of which are influenced by Jewish. Judaism. They're not necessarily Jewish by top, but everything I do is Jewish. But yeah, so I am very excited. One of them is going to be called Wire and Wood. That is the uh, that is the non-Jewish. And we're going to hear that title track today, right? Uh, yeah, can. great. And uh, the other one is going to be called Praying with Our Feet, which is a uh, so it's, it's a series of liturgy and social justice and Jewish topic themes. And a lot of your music has been children oriented. This isn't necessarily children oriented. You know, I, you know, it's funny. Most people know me for my children's music, but I, I the last children's album I did was a long time ago. Yeah. So I've been doing more more singer songwriter. I mean, I I, I, I wanted to point that out to everyone yeah. because you are so well known for your Jewish children's music yeah. and uh, uh, not only your lyrics, your your books you've done. Uh, just amazing things that you do for children as well as your your music career and your rabbinic career. Yeah. Um, tell me, uh, now you have a lot of symptoms in your family in the last year, thank God. I'd love to see all the pictures, by the way. Love thank them, you. love them. Um, uh, what is your um, future uh, outlook as far as your musical career and stuff? Because like you said, you haven't done an album in 18 right. years, and all of a sudden, yeah. here's two new albums well, right I've been, away. I've been writing nonstop. During COVID, I wrote a lot. It just uh, And I've been really focusing on the craft of songwriting, especially lyrics. Uh, and uh, so I, I really have learned a tremendous amount. You know, I'm still a congregation rabbi. I have a large congregation in Denver, Colorado, Temple Emanuel of Denver. And I'll be there for a few more years. But, you know, I can see down the road, maybe four, five, six years from now, I'll retire. And then probably do music full time. Sounds great. Well, we hope you're going to stay with us for this year's festival. It's going to be great. Rabbi Joe Black, he's going to be with us. You're going to hear him. And uh, I wish you much of success in everything you do. It is such a pleasure always to see you. I look forward to it. And uh, stay with us here at the Greater Chicago Jewish Festival Great 2022. <laughs> we'll be right back with more music. <laughs> All right. How's everybody doing? Isn't this a wonderful day? How awesome is it? that we have this festival back together in person. I, this is one of my favorite things to do every two years. Uh, I have a, a, a habit, it's kind of a dangerous one, of writing limericks. And I write limericks, I write political limericks, I, but I've also, I wrote a book with a limerick for every Torah portion. It's called, There Once Was a Man from Canaan, The Five Books of Limerick. I'm gonna share just a couple of them with you here. Um, so here's for Breshit, the very first Torah portion. It says, just take a bite, said the snake. Who cares if a rule you might break? The fruit that you'll eat is so juicy and sweet. Think of the pies you could bake. That's, yeah, you don't have to applaud. <laughs> here's Noah. By the way, who knows what's the first thing Noah did when he got out of the ark? He planted a vineyard and he got drunk. And he exposed himself to his sons 
Shem, Hem, and Yafet. So this, this one. Noah, uncouth and quite gruff, went out of the ark in a huff. But when Shem, Hem, and Yafet saw him drunk in the buffet, truly was more than enough. Thank you, thank you. Uh, let's see. I'll do one more and then I'll keep going. They, these are for sale, by the way, over in the tent over there. This is uh, the Akedah, the binding of Isaac. To Abraham, God did request, kill Isaac, the one you love best. As he raised up his knife to take his son's life, God said, stop, it was only a test. Okay, there's enough. All right. So this next song, um, This next tune is uh, another uh, song that's going to be on the non-Jewish album. And it's about a, uh, a week I spent in 1982 on a beach in Taba. Uh, Taba, which was then the southern tip of Israel, now it's part of Egypt. But back then it was the last piece before they gave back the Sinai. And it was a wonderful week with my very best friend uh, who lives in Tel Aviv now. And we were, that was my first year of rabbinical school. Uh, so we had a great time on that beach, just sort of hanging out, camping out, living the life of young, young people. That's all I'll say about that. But uh, a, a couple years ago, I was in Israel, and Eddie showed me a photograph that he took of the two of us on Taba Beach. We were much younger, much skinnier, uh, and uh, on the flight home, I wrote this song. It's called uh, Aphrodite, Wire and Wood. This song actually won an award from American Songwriter Magazine, much to my surprise. So it's called, uh, let's see, it's called Aphrodite, Wire, and Wood.
You guys doing okay? Awesome. So, uh, this, uh, that's actually going to be the title of the new CD, Aphrodite, the, the non-Jewish CD. Uh, this next one is also a new melody. All of these are actually brand new. So you, thank you for listening. I know you want to hear some old stuff, but I really want to do new stuff, so I really appreciate that. Um, this is a, just what the world needs, another melody for Adon Olam. because we had another Ram on the show before. Uh, Ram is the uh, uh, state senator for our district in uh, West Rogers Park, where, where we are. And I, I'm so glad to have you on the show. We've never had you on the show before. We've been at so many events. As we had a we Friday, we were at an event together, uh, sitting together. Um, tell me uh, just a little bit, because we would love to do a whole show with you. Just in, in a brief moment, tell me what you've done since the, the few years you've been in office that has really made a change for our community. Well, first and foremost, thank you for having me. No, it's I, my pleasure. I'm, I'm so proud and honored to be the state senator for the 8th District. Uh, today is a phenomenal day. I was on Devon Avenue earlier uh, this, this morning, and I was in Lincoln Woods doing a child care event, and now I'm here at the uh, Chicago, uh, Greater Chicago uh, Jewish Festival. And it just shows, most importantly, the diversity of our district, from the Jewish community to the Asian American community to the Syrian community, and so much more. Um, I, you know, to that to your question, have been proud to work on legislation that has helped all of those communities, whether it's legislation to root out hate and creating the Global Tolerance Center uh, that's here today. Um, and ensuring that the governor put $20 million in, the, in our last budget um, to towards non security grants for nonprofits and institutions to make us keep feel safe because of the rise of the uh, to legislation that will reduce gun violence, make sure that we're funding our schools and so much more. And that's, those are the issues, quite frankly, that people are talking about uh, when they might not have their door, when they see them in the and I'm proud to be working on this. It's wonderful.
wonderful. I, I want to say, I can't remember anybody uh, that I run into more often at different events, uh, different uh, gatherings. You're always there. You make it a point to be part of the community, to be out there, to be reachable easily. And I, I want to thank you so much. I want to thank you for being with us. Like I said, I hope to have you on so we can really talk in depth. But thanks for being with us, Ram. And uh, much success, continued success. And uh, we, we, we hope that you continue to do what you do. I appreciate that. And I look forward to being on the show. And I'll just end by saying my job, I look at it as having three buckets, legislation, constitutional services, and outreach. And outreach is being at events like this today, because that's how you learn what legislation you need and what constitutional services you should bring. Great, great. Well, thank you. Great. Thanks for, with, for staying with us here on Tape with Rabbi Doug. We'll be back at the Greater Chicago Jewish Festival. We're back here on Tape with Rabbi Doug, and I am here with Barry Goldberg. He is running for judge. For judge. What does it mean when you're running for judge? You've been in, in, in office, uh, you know, serving the state for a long time now. What's, what's the difference? What is running for judge, and, and how do you decide to run for judge? And if you uh, are elected judge, what are your um, uh, jurisdictions? So, about occasionally, this, uh, 14 weeks ago, I was asked for judge, and my, my grandfather, my daddy, was said that when you're asked to do something you did, uh, to ask yourself, can I make a possible difference? And if the answer is yes, you have a duty to stand up for that. So that's why I'm running for that. And, and the, the, uh, for 22 years, I've been at the Attorney General's office. Uh, I'm currently the Bureau Chief of the General Trust Bureau. And the Attorney General's office, my entire career, has been to fight fraud and to defend charities. And the, the, uh, I also have led coalitions of, of, uh, of other Attorney General offices in fighting fraud. Last year, I led a coalition of uh, 39 states and federal government in, uh, in taking down uh, fraudulent professional fundraisers who were soliciting using telemarketers with robocalls in all 50 states. They were making billions of fraudulent uh, telemarketing calls in all 50 states. We shut them down. We got a $110 million judgment against them. And all the money is going to charity. They're banned from making now, many people in the Chicago area know Judge Jacobius, who's retiring, and uh, your position that you're running for is to replace him in his position. Are the people running against you for this, or when you're asked to do something like this, do you run on a post? So I am running to oh, for the Jacobius vacancy. Judge Jacobius supports me. He's on my, uh, my committee. Oh, yeah. He endorses me. Uh, <laughs> I am running against other people in, in, in my race. Uh, there are three other people in my race. Uh, I'm the only one that Judge Jacobius is endorsing. He's on my committee. Uh, I'm also endorsed by uh, many other uh, organizations, the Independent Voters of Illinois. Uh, I'm also endorsed by the Federation of Labor. I'm endorsed by many others. You can go to my website I'm hosting. And, and you can uh, take a look at and see all of the people, the uh, individuals and organizations that are endorsing me. Right. All right. He's great. Gary. I've known Barry since he was a young man, and it's great to see him moving up to such a, a wonderful, not only has he served this state in so many ways, but now moving up to such a wonderful to position to replace her. such an honored judge also. I wish you much success. Stay with us here on Tape with Rabbi Doug at the festival, and uh, we'll be back. Thank you very much. We're here on Tape with Rabbi Doug at the Greater Chicago Jewish Festival, and I am very honored to have with me Jesse Sullivan, he is the Republican candidate for governor of the state of Illinois. Welcome to the show, Jesse. Hey, thanks for having me. Jesse, you know, a lot of people don't know you, and we've seen your name, and we've seen some advertisement as the elections get closer. Tell me a little bit about you. First of all, what is your background, and what is your political background? Where did you grow up, and how did you decide that you want to run for governor of the state of Illinois? Oh, great. So I am from central Illinois, and I grew up working on a farm, one of eight kids. Uh, really, for me, it's about faith, family, and service. And my faith grew 
drove me to go do work over in Afghanistan, so I was an uh, Army civilian setting up local police forces uh, over in Afghanistan. And, uh, and then I realized, man, if I really want to help people in need, the best way is creating jobs and growing the economy. So went back to Stanford Business School and then launched my own, uh, really a, a business to back entrepreneurs. And so I've been backing small entrepreneurs, helping them grow their businesses all around the world. And then I realized doing that work, our politics are so awful here at home that I have to step in and try to change it. So I'm a political outsider. This is the first office I've ever run for. I love our home state of Illinois. I hate our politics. So I think it's going to take someone who doesn't owe anybody anything to step in there and take these corrupt insiders out and put some real values back in our government. Very nice, very nice. So where did you go to school? What's your what's your educational background and stuff? Yeah, so I was a small town kid, Petersburg, Illinois, so a uh, town of 2,000 people, half of them are my cousins, you know, that type of uh, environment. But I went to St. Louis University, uh, I studied theology, where I actually got to take a trip over to uh, Israel as part of an interfaith uh, partnership. And so I'll never, I'll never forget praying at the Wailing Wall. And, uh, and I really do feel these faith values across religions that we need to band together and make sure that we don't, we don't get a separate set of values that we don't hold as people of faith. We need to get those values back in our government. So I went on from there to get a master's at Oxford University in England in uh, international politics, and then I got my master's in business at Stanford Business School. Wow, wow, wow. What a great background. Well, I want to wish you much success. It is great to have you here. I want you to know, being the Republican candidate, that Governor Rauner, who I became very close with, he was at every Jewish festival when he ran for office and when he was in office. So having you here is just following the Republican uh, uh, idea that I should be among the people in, in, in all communities and be part of it. And uh, it's, a, it's a wonderful thing. I wish you much success. Your beautiful family is here with you. And uh, we wish you uh, and your family all the best. Stay with us here at Taped with Rabbi Doug. We're at the Greater Chicago Jewish Festival 2022 here in Morton Grove, Illinois. This man, Jesse Sullivan, running for governor. And uh, don't forget to go out and vote. Hey, thank you. This is Rabbi Joe Black on Tapes with Rabbi Doug at the Fest.
That's it for part one here at the Chicago Jewish Festival 2022. I want to thank everyone here and hope you'll join us next time because we have more music and more people to meet. Remember, you can check out our website, www.tvrabbi.com, where you can also see former shows on the web and former festivals on the web. If you want to email anyone here at the festival or email us, info at tvrabbi.com is the email address. We look forward to seeing you next time at part two right here on tape with Rabbi Doug. Shalom, everyone. I mean, this, this song is called My Guitar Has Never, Never Sounded So Good.